excited today to be doing this video. It feels like it's took a good few weeks for me to edit it. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Webs Garden Centre video. Webs operate free garden centres starting from one site about 30 years ago they started. Um, I went to the Witchbold store but they've also got one over in Chester I believe as well and they've got another one somewhere else. They have got a website that you can um, order on um, and people travel far and wide across the West Midlands and beyond because they do some fantastic displays which I shall be showing you in my video later on. They do the Lee Max villages, they're a stockist for that, for those of you that like to collect the little light up villages, I've got a few myself now, and the bits and pieces that go with that. And they've got a large range of plants which you'll see. They are um, quite expensive, some people say, but I always find Webs are a luxury retailer and garden centre now that will charge for good quality items. They do like glass baubles and they do plastic ones. So I hope you enjoy this Christmas shop with me. Um, I really enjoyed filming it um, and seeing what they had in store. I am possibly thinking if these do well, um, as this is the first part, I will be doing a second Christmas one. But I am thinking maybe to go back in the summer and see what they have then, as they'll have some more summery type bedding plants as well, which will interest some of you guys at home. So I will be going back in the summer and looking into filming that, if these ones do well. I thought it would be a bit different, to be honest, to do a webs one than always doing home bargains, b and bargains. And it'll be something a bit different on YouTube as well, because I don't think anyone's done a webs Christmas shop with me video. So I'm really excited to see how it works out. And um, once again, I've edited it on my iMovie app on my iPhone. And I'm feeling more confident with that now. But um, at Christmas, I shall be going back on my laptop so I can put more music in um, to these videos as well. well. That's all for now then. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you a bit later. This year Webs had done a white snow effect with penguins and mountains. Every year they do a special display and make a big effort. As you go through the main doors of Webs Garden Centre, they had this lovely big display of plants. There were calanchos, anthuriums and other fern type plants. They always do a big display of plants as well. I love seeing this white and silver reef ring with a bit of foliage going. Moving on round the corner now, there was this lovely terrarium section. You could make your own and buy the plants separately, or you could buy the terrariums with the plants already in them. There was a lovely selection, and I felt these would make a lovely gift. They had succulents and cactuses inside them. They're quite easy to care for, and they like moisture. You only have to water them about once a week. I know this section is looking a bit bare, but I was just going to show it you anyway, as it had a lot of these gift wrap plants the last time, and they're popular sellers because they're easy gifts to get for grandparents, parents, and other people. Moving on, there was this orchid section, which had different coloured orchids, and they were all about the same size, to be honest. Round here they had some pots which were mainly grey, white and green with a mix of Christmas cacti mixed in which are very popular and then they had some more orchids. This side they had all different plant foods and some more greenery type plants which looked like they were, they'd be good in your bathroom as well. This side they had yuccas in different pots and other terrarium styles in glass vases. These were about £21 or more going upwards. 
they are easy to care, these glass terrariums, and they had these corks in the top, which I think were to build up the moisture so they can self-water. But I would water them every once a month if that yourselves as well. I think they're really classy and something a bit different from what everywhere else is doing at the moment. And they also had these yuccas further up the top. Um, they're quite easy to care for, like I say, so they'd be an ideal gift um, for friends, family, and really anyone who's got a relative in a care home, as they're quite easy to care for. Here there was a shelving unit of random pots and terrariums. I didn't seem to have prices on the individual pots, so it would be probably best to ask that. We then come across this amazing poinsettia display. Like I said, Webb's put so much effort in for a family business. I really do appreciate it, having run my own small business and seeing what goes into making a fantastic display. There were these lovely amphibian plants in these red pots mixed in with some other bits and pieces like the watering cans and the bigger pots. Back to the rest of the poinsettia section, as I said this was quite a large section, they had sold out on this side the smaller poinsettias as they are quite popular and I know a lot of older people like to have a new poinsettia plant every Christmas. They then had this bronze section at the bottom of the table which I thought was quite nice. I've been looking for some air purifying plants for my home, as some of you know. These are perfect, to be honest. They like a bit of moisture, so they would last well in the bathroom. They are a better alternative than plug-in air fresheners, spray air fresheners, and anything man-made like that. And they last a very long time. Here we had the peace lily section. I want to say the big piece Lily we're looking at here was about £40-45 pounds, as it's quite large and normally plants go on the size as well. And these plants here hanging, I had the one that looked like little peas and it died. Here we have a section of tropical plants which are quite popular as well. There's something a bit different and enjoy um, places like conservatories and warm areas. This is just the rest of the greenery foliage plant section. Over the other side they had the poinsettias which were the slightly cheap ones I was talking about earlier. This is the other side of the house trailing plants as it was in like a horseshoe shape. Over here, there was a red and white table set up. There was about three different displays, but I'll show you them a bit later. Everything seen on that table you could buy in store, and they were close to the table, so it was all associated together, and you didn't have to go miles looking for it. As you can see, there's the napkins, the plates, the cups, there's the centrepieces, which I thought were lovely. The centrepieces come in two different sizes, large and medium. Here they are again. The table runners are on this side, on the right, and there are also the tablecloths next to the crackers. And over this side, they had some more tablecloths and cups and coasters. They also had some bowls as well. And they also had a pillar there and some other cushions and crackers that matched with the red and white colour theme. This is the last of the red and white section now. Before we leave, I'm just going to show you these tea towels as these were 3 99 and some people love tea. Leading on from the red and white section, we have this stunning white and silver section which is very contemporary and I would have loved my Christmas table this colour this year if I was allowed to have people over. These placemats I was quite tempted to buy. But they also had these lovely crackers as well 
with a bit of blue. This is more of a cream section moving on where they had the tablecloths and it led into a cream and gold section. I feel everything lent into each other lovely with the colours and nothing really clashed. It all blended in as it flowed around the store. Here we've got some table runners and we've got some gold candles and some napkin holders. We've also got some battery operated candles and some other bits and pieces here, which are centerpieces at the top. I've bought some of these mirrors myself as coasters. These were quite classy, I felt, and they matched my bigger ones that I've got in my bathroom. Over here, we've got these nice artificial decorations which i personally would put a nice candle in the middle um just put it at the bottom of your candle so it finishes it off nicely as a centerpiece just over here we go into the silver section with black mixed in as well they've got these lovely silver and white crackers and these silver centerpieces, which I thought were absolutely lovely. They had glitter on, and I think they started from about £20, depending on the size and the materials. Here we've got this lovely golden table with white mixed in. I really enjoyed this one. I thought this was really classy and something a bit different from everywhere else as well. I mean, it's a good idea to get ideas on Pinterest, but it's also nice to get out and physically see it in front of your face. Once again, they've got the associated accessories behind, as you can see. And they also had these crackers in a bigger section. They had a big range of crackers, as you can obviously tell by now. They also had the different centrepieces. And they had these napkins, which were quite nice. Um, I didn't buy any of these, though. I was tempted. I'll just spin that round to show you the range of Christmas napkins. As some people like to have the disposable napkins and throw them away. They were quite reasonably priced, to be honest. And they had a different style to suit different tastes for different people. From traditional down to modern. I think they were about £4 a pack, these were. Um, they had dogs as well and cats and different ones. They had these lovely candles that I think we saw earlier on the tables in gold and white and silver and white. I love the star ones as I thought they were quite modern and they also had the traditional round cylinder shaped ones. They also had this centrepiece here for something a bit different. They had these lovely glass balls, which I f found really tranquil. I think they were about £20, and you could press the buttons here, this white plastic thing on the box to check if it worked before you bought it. Um, I found they were quite different, but I absolutely love the crackle vase effect anyway. They had these stag heads as well, a stag section in silver with a battery operated candle they then had these lovely baubles for all styles and tastes and then they had these little votives to put your tea lights in next to some more crackers you've guessed it on this lovely rack i was just going to get a close-up to show you the designs on these um little votives then there was these trees and these lovely little deers and these bears, these little gifts just here. I just want to show you guys this wonderful display as Webs, like I said, did some fantastic displays. They always do. Um, this one was kind of city inspired. Then they had these lovely gift bags. Um, as you can see, the prices there, they're all slightly different based on size and if they've got glitter on and whatnot. 
Um, they had modern, traditional, red, gold, silver, the one with the snowflakes on. Um, I found they had a good range, actually, of the gift bags and the wrapping paper. Knowing webs, I could see that going really quickly. So I would have got that quickly if I was you. I also like these gift bags with the dogs on, as I really want a dog, as some of you know. And then they've got the traditional red bags down there. The one with the penguins. And then they've got this one with modern reindeers on. Coming over here, they've got the tissue as well. And they've got the matching tags to go with the bags and the paper. Just over here, they've got this magical unicorn bag, which I thought would be perfect for young girls on Christmas Day if they're presents in. And then they've got some more um, bags, tags, tape and other accessories that you will need. I think these are cards here um, that they had as well. As you can see, they'd sold quite a lot of them. And they were selling quite quickly. So I think these some of these as well as boxes as well. They had them hooks as well that you could display your Christmas cards on, which are still quite popular. Over here is the Christmas card section, starting with brother, mother, son, daughter, then named cards generally. And then it goes into the write your own section. Then we had the Lint Chocolate Teddy Advent Calendar, which I hadn't seen before. Just before we go into this red and white and silver section, I'm just going to show you this tree. Everything on this tree will be for sale in webs, which I'll probably show you later when I get to the bauble section. This is more tablecloths and table runners for that extra festive special dinner on Christmas Day. Over here they've got a stag sticking his he head out between the trees. I absolutely love that display. It's something different and I'd love to have made that myself. Um, they've got all the cushions and the stag crackers underneath. This section had a lot more stag stuff than the one before. Over here they've got these ducks and they've got these cups, which are very nice. They're from a company called East of India, are an ethical company, and they are a small gifting company. They do some lovely hearts. I had them in my shop, and they've since expanded into these cups. These ducks here that you see are collections. See, that one's called Anne, that one's called Honey. So they all have different names and people collect them. And they they all got different things going on. Some are wearing hats. This one over here is called Madison and she's wearing silver wellies. And they've all got slightly different characters and it tells you all about them on the tags. Over here they've also got some more East of India bits and pieces as well with this random vase which I don't think is Easter India because they don't do vases but they have these lovely cups that Easter India have started doing um, I might look at getting one in the future as I know they're quite ethical company and they've got to do some lovely hearts to hang on your tree or on your wall and I'll just show you some of them now with what they say. Now this would make a nice plaque for six ninety nine, or you could have it as a coaster to put your drink on. Um, they're really high quality, as I said, and it's nice to have an option either as a coaster or a plaque. This is just one of the cups. Sorry about the dust. I should have given it a wipe over to show you first. And it's got nice, cute little sayings on. And they are really nice. Here we've got some other bowls as well, which they never used to do when I used to have my business. And they've got an African style section coming in here. They've also had these lovely um, 
flower shaped designs. At first I thought they were mirrors, but then I could put my hand through them and see through the other side. So they're just nice decorations to have on the wall and something a bit different, I guess. I think there was a large range of gifts, to be honest with you guys. There was something for everyone and different tastes and different budgets. This section here was more smaller pots, which I quite liked as well, as people are living in smaller properties now with new bills and things. So you can fit these pots on little ledges, windowsills, and in smaller places. Over here, they had these little man pot things, and they had little faces on. Over here, this is more of a gold African style um, section with gold sprayed palm leaves and um, leopard print and zebra print. Up here, I'm just showing you the lampshades as well. I don't think you could buy them. Um, I'm not so sure about that. I didn't see them for sale. And just at the bottom, they've got some matching throws in yellow. And they've got these lovely lanterns, which are a lovely style to do something a bit different in your home. They also had this golden giraffe for £27. And they had this golden... I think it was a candle hold. I'm not so sure about that. And they had these gold um, metal tray things, which I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. And then over here, they had some zebra print and some leopard print photo frames. And it's gold, going back into the gold section. Over here, this was a... Going into a more manly section, I would say, where they had the globe and they had um, more things for men, I would have said. They had water bottles, they had um, more outdoorsy type stuff. Um, obviously, women could also buy this as well, but it just felt very macho at this corner, if, if you know what I mean, and very outdoorsy with cups and bits and pieces like that. Over here, we've got the Christmas um, section, the very traditional Christmas type goodies. They've got the hairbands for the women and the girls and the ones with stags for maybe the men. I think they light up the stag ones, I'm not so sure. And then over here, we've got the hats and a massive range of Christmas socks. Webb's had a large range of socks, which did shock me a little bit. Next to the socks, they had these stockings and they had the sacks for Father Christmas's presents, which I used to love these as a kid, but you can't get them as much now. They had babies first. Baby boy, baby girl stockings as well. First Christmas. Over here, we've got these um, porcelain type Christmas penguins, which would look lovely on your fireplace or windowsill. These were quite nice, I thought. Over here, we've got the animated parachuting Santa at 45 centimetres. I think he sings and he moves at the same time. Over here we've got the Santa coming down the racetrack and we've got some soft toys for the little ones over here and some jigsaws which I thought were quite good for travelling if you are travelling or just playing in the car. Over here we've got some white and silver section going on um, I really like this section. I found it really classy. Some of these baubles are like four ninety nine upwards. They're not the cheapest, but like I say, they're high quality. And they are not designed to compete with places like Poundland and B&M. These are special baubles that you buy to get out every year. They also had some lovely tinsel, which looked full as well. Once again, I absolutely love this display at the top of this bauble 
section. They had white, silver and a blue going on here. They had like a, a greeny, turquoisey colour. Some of these were glass as well, which I will point out. They weren't all plastic. So it's well worth paying £5 a bauble if they're glass. As you can't get glass ones as much now. There was this wreath ring here on the end. And this was the Christmas tree. Over here they had these swans for about £60. Which I found quite expensive myself to be honest. As it was only polystyrene. And the same for these penguins as well. These penguins weren't polystyrene but they were... Um, made out of like some kind of porcelain resin. Um, this Christmas tree I do quite like, the silver one. And they had, see there it is, £60 for those that didn't believe me. And then we have this silver centrepiece tree and we move on to Father Christmas now. These were different prices as well, depending on the size. Um... They were all a bit drunk on this time as people had been buying them. And then they all supported one another when stood together. We're just going into the gold and silver section now. But I just want to show you the main centrepiece above the display. Um, as this one was also another show-stopping display. Here we have some fairies in gold. And some stars to go on top of the tree. We also have some more centrepieces or these could be used as decorations around your fireplace. These beads I absolutely love. We used to have them as kids and they used to come on a roll and you just cut them to size on what you want to drape over your tree. Um, these are different sizes, these fairies I believe. Over here we've got a gold snowflake which sits on the top of your tree. So there's plenty of range for people to have different things on the top of their tree if they want. That one was a fair weight, that snowflake one. Over here they had this gold rack which they hung a few baubles on. You could also use it to hang your cards on and peg them on as well. Over here, we're starting off in the gold Christmas tree decoration section with some gold baubles. And I'm just showing you the display at the top as these are quite distracting as they were so good. They've also got some different baubles, once again, on different prices. Um, I think they start from around £3 upwards. I absolutely love this garland along the top of the display in the gold and white section um they've got some different pieces here once again so you can style your christmas with white and gold these fairy um hanging ones are 7.99 and they were something a bit different i hadn't seen before anywhere else and they've got these silver birds some of these are also glass as well, like I said earlier. Some of them, are, um, a lot of them are plastic, but there will be a percentage that are glass, which I do like the glass ones. This one says shine like all the stars, which I thought was quite cute. Again, they've got the stag and they've got more fairies. This one's stars and moons, and that's quite nice. That was plastic. Um, this one, they've got some gold stars. And this section up here is more glass. Here they've got this gold pair to match the gold apple, which I thought was nice. Something a bit different. And then they also have a moon, which I've not seen glittery moon anywhere else. And then there was this lovely mirror gold star, which was quite special. Over this side, they had gold and silver and white reefs. I absolutely love these hanging bits I'm just touching here. 
Uh, so I thought that would be nice for people with small mantelpieces above the fire just to hang across. I was tempted to get some of them. Um, they also have these gold leaves. Over here they've got this display going into the more, um, I don't know how you describe it, like a fantasy Christmas um, toyland style. That which was different as well. They've always done this type of thing. This train was about £120. I think me and my friend worked out with the carriage attached. They were selling that. And that was out of cardboard. This is the tree of what I'm going to call Christmas land, toy land. And there was a rocking horse and a donut to hang. Here we've got this snow hat, which you can see sticking out the tree there. I thought that was something a bit different. Um, I'm not sure how much they were. If they were like eight, nine pounds um, for the hat. I think they were a bit less than that. And then we've got these um, lovely female reindeer type display toys which were quite nice and then we've got a bear down there reading some christmas carols over here we've got these which are quite nice as gifts a large santa and we've got these funny little gnome things i can't remember the name what they're called now um but i think they can go on top of your christmas trees i'll show you there there's a hole and they're quite nice and a little bit different. I know they're quite popular actually. As I've seen them everywhere else. Then we've got Roger the Rat. And Father Christmas. And here we've got a Christmas train set. Which comes with a nice set of trees. It comes with some animals. And it comes with the train. And some a carriage at least. Um, I'm just going to show you that now. There we are. It just shows you on the side of what exactly you get in it. And then we've got some more of these strange name things. Down there they've got that Santa sleigh which is their display. And they put things in it and use it in the display every year which is lovely. Over here we've got some porcelain stuff. And then we've got the snowman and some more porcelain things, a standing, standing snowman. Over here, we've got the Fantasy Island Christmas section, I'm calling it, with the donuts. We've got a nice range of tinsel and they've got some lovely cars and Christmas puddings. That's a, sla a ski... Um, an ice skating boot there. They've got these little reefs and the star. And they also have some other bits and pieces. They've got Christmas pudding there. They've got a Christmas tree. Um, an ice skating boot. One that says Xmas. And they've also got these other glittery bits and pieces. I took this down off just to have a look at what it was made out of. And how they'd covered the back. That was three forty nine. that donut. Um, and I thought that was something a bit special. As some people like donuts. These were also quite cute as well. These um, ball balls. Um, with the mixed glitter on. Once again up here. They'd completely gone over the top. With the garland. Displaying all the baubles that we see down here. The train, the car, the snowman. Uh, Fat Father Christmas. Um, the gingerbread, Mr. Gingerbread Man. Little Miss Gingerbread Woman. And we have the stars on the end. I'm not sure what these things are. I think they're red fence with the numbers on. And once again, you could have a red star with a spiral to sit on top of your Christmas tree. Here we've got some window gels, which are fantastic for the kids. You just wipe them over and put them away each year. We've got the soft toy section with some reindeer ball balls. I absolutely love little gingies. They're so cute, isn't they? And these meerkats, um, which have been very popular with Compare the Market. Um 
website and their marketing. My mum still calls it go go on the Compare the Meerkat website. Anyway, we have a display here, which is inspired by Narnia. Well, I like to think so anyway. I'd absolutely love to work at Webs and do their shop displays because I really missed doing my window displays in my business and I really did enjoy getting creative and doing them. Um, but this is really nice with all the lights and the things going on. So I'll leave it there. Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all enjoyed that um, video. I really enjoyed filming it to be honest. Me and my friend went and we couldn't believe the range of different baubles, the displays. Like I said in the video, I did really enjoy the different displays. Having been um, a florist and doing window displays in both of my shops, I really enjoyed seeing, getting inspiration and seeing all the lovely um, decorations above the main displays and I think they had about three different displays um, as well that they had just up on certain parts of the main aisle to give people inspiration and ideas. Some of them were quite traditional and some of them were quite modern as you saw. But I do find um, if you go on the web's Google page, one of their stores, you'll be able to see all the different um, things they have as well. I'm not going to say too much about what I found interesting on there as that will be in my next video um, with some things I filmed there like the Little Lumax villages but um, webs do a fantastic one regardless if you're a collector or not um, but I'll talk about that in the next video um, but like I say webs also had a Lakeland at this um, this which bold store which was quite good i found um it wasn't open i don't think at the moment it was only open for collections because of the restrictions but it also had a hobby craft as well um but that wasn't open when we went um there was restrictions with certain things like the food i would love to have filmed the food um but it's all pre-packed christmas food so i didn't bother with that so that's all for this week. The next video I shall be doing is Webb's Garden Centre Part 2. And I shall be um, editing that um, today or tomorrow. It's now Sunday and I'm getting ready for this week's upload. So all take care out there and remember to give me a thumbs up on this video and comment below as this really helps my channel out and to understand you guys at home of what you're enjoying what you're not enjoying and so on um and it really helps my channel grow with the interaction on google on the youtube which is really google that's all for this week then take care and i'll see you all soon bye